Good afternoon, everybody. All right, we've got a good one. Um, I wasn't going to make a video on this, um, but I'm going to because it's an interesting issue and something I think pe people should know about. So this Colorado 2013 um, Colorado came into us. Customer purchased this car with running driving with no mileage showing. All zeroed out, just lines down the bottom there. So we'll get to focus. Uh, there we go. Just lines in the odometer section, um, which is essentially GM or Holden for VIN mismatch or programming mismatch between gauge cluster and BCM. Now, the interesting part of this is there's been about five clusters put through it. So I've got three here, um, one, two, three, one in pieces. All the customer had of the original cluster was this. Now, talking to Holden, I tried initially to configure and program all three of these. They're similar part numbers. They're not the same as the original. Um, talking to Holden Spare Parts, there's only two part numbers that will work in this vehicle. So 13 to, or January 13 to I think August, October, September 13, um, two part numbers are compatible. Now, because of the time on this custom wasn't in any rush, I spent a fair bit of time on trying to manually reconfigure these gauge clusters. And I actually wrote <coughs> all the factory part number from the original gauge cluster, the part number, the serial number, uh, the mileage, the VIN number, even the manufacturing date manually into the flash on this chip, um, on this board, so stored in the EEPROM and the flash chip, even to try and configure it. Now that let me configure the cluster, sorry, let me program the cluster on car, but it would not let me configure it still. So the fix for this in the end was a correct part number cluster. Now. Uh, it's actually still not quite correct. It's one higher, and I believe it's just a superseded number, but it worked. We cannot get the cluster anywhere. The original ones have been discontinued for a couple of years now, so you will not get a genuine one out of Holden anymore, full stop. Um, I tried flash dumps from clusters from overseas, so even the matching part number cluster from as there, so the 5154, I tried a flash dump out of a cluster from a trailblazer with the same number from Russia and that would not configure either. Um, it would program, but not configure, same as how I manually got it to in the end with this board here. Um, we ended up getting this gauge cluster just off a whim. It's close enough part number. I was still quite sus so it wouldn't work, but we ended up hooking up the MDI and programming it in, um, reconfiguring it all, and I still had to manually write the VIN, and we now have a sync cluster because we have mileage showing. We'll fire her up, and you can see, we'll have a fuel warning come up got all our temp, trans temp, language, speed warning, battery voltage, etc. 190917, which is the original mileage of the vehicle. So, interestingly enough, if you have this issue on Holden's, I've done plenty of cruises and um, even a couple of Equinoxes with the same thing where the mileage doesn't show. We were able to reprogram different part number clusters in or get them to work manually by writing the VINs and the PIN codes into them. Um, Colorado, early 13 to late mid 13 you need a correct cluster because even manually writing all that data into these flash chips and EPROMs will not sort it. It may program with SPS, but it will not configure and it will not link the mileage. So, interesting enough, um, I've put a fair bit of time into this because uh, it's a good customer of ours, another workshop that we do a lot of work for. Um, and because I was interested in figuring out why it won't take or why it won't work, dealer software needed, wouldn't link up with scan tools in the end. Um, and still manually had to write the VIN number in there, but it's sorted. So hopefully that makes sense to everyone. If you are swapping modules in this gen of Colorado, be very careful, get the right parts, because you will waste a lot of time and money on different units that do not work. Obviously, they all look the exact same. They all have the same face. They have very similar part numbers, but they are no good. Just to finish that, um, I'll attach some photos of these this cluster on the bench and all the manual software part numbers getting put in there as well if I've still got them because this job has gone over about a week um, on and off end up getting this cluster from Queensland and